Yesterday, we got a trailer for Star Wars Outlaws. I'm sure you're all excited that you can pre-order this game today. A lot of key jangling in this game. They give you a job of the hut with Ma'am Solo, uh, not Han Solo. It's a female, a strong female girl boss with uh, his same color scheme and outfit. Maybe she even took his pistol. I don't know. It's like, why didn't you just make the game with Han Solo instead of making somebody that you desperately want people to think of Han Solo when they look at her? That's why she kind of has the same outfit that he wears, and even the same color scheme is his outfit. It's funny. Uh, another thing that's funny is how she looks compared to the actress that she's modeled after. We're going to get to that because a lot of people have been pointing that out and dunking on it, which I'm happy to see. I think it's hilarious. Uh, but this is your your hero. Another thing I'd like to point out is that this is the main Star Wars channel. For some reason, this wasn't the prioritized video. Note it has 490,000 views. And it's getting up there in its dislikes. It will probably get ratioed. But this isn't the version of this video that's getting all the traction. It's over on the Ubisoft account where it's getting a lot of traction. Over here, it's trending, and it's almost got a million views. And it also has this. Did you notice something? It's almost ratioed. Guarantee you, you see a ratio on this probably within a day or two, and it'll continue to grow because this is an Ubisoft game and a modern Star Wars game that has a little bit of a problem going on for it. One, everyone's making fun of the main character and how she looks like she was uh, hit with an ugly stick. And what's funny about that is if you see the actress, and I'm going to show you her again because a lot of people are pointing out how beautiful she is compared to this character. Uh, we're going to talk about that too. But the comments are mostly all negative. Never believe Ubisoft until you try the game yourself. Uh, Ubisoft needs to get used to consumers not buying their game. Uh, remember, never pre-order from Ubisoft. Always online. That's another piece of backlash for this game. You have to have an internet connection just to download it onto your console. What's the point of selling the box game then? So... That's the latest of what's going on with this. And that's not even talking about the community manager for this game, who I've already done a video on. But that's another piece of the puzzle here on why this is getting so much heat. So, of course, journalists have to come out of the woodwork. they got to protect this game. They have to protect it. All the criticism is, of course, misogyny, the patriarchy. Of course it is. It always is. That's why people don't like this game. It isn't that the Star Wars franchise is probably in one of the most controversial states it's ever been in, uh, that there's big backlash against video game studios in the West, uh, that people are tired of these weird blurring the lines between men and women characters that are only done with women, not for men, and a bunch of other things like live service shit, all that stuff. It's, it's not any of that. No, it's the fact that she's a, a woman of God. Look at that. You can really see that Han Solo color scheme now. Doesn't it look like she's dressed? She even has like the short jacket on, white shirt, wears the belt the same as him, probably stole his gun or something. It's a joke. It's a joke. At least they didn't put a droid on her shoulder, I guess. Everyone's got to have a droid in a star. Oh, she does have a droid in this game. Guarantee you he's going to die by a noble sacrifice to save her too. Because, of course, she is. Because these people don't know how to do anything with this friggin' brand anymore. Uh, like I was saying, here's another thing that people are pissed about. The Ultimate Edition. I thought these were always 100 bucks. Well, they increased the price. Star Wars Outlaws Ultimate Edition for $130 continues an industry trend of paying lofty sums for early access. And players don't like it. Why is everything monetized? Alternatively... You can pay just 110 for early access, but no in-game bonuses. So you can pay all that money for the, for the privilege. <laughs> the privilege of playing this game three days early with no in-game benefits. But you want some in-game benefits? Another $20, please. 
But here's the real backlash that I love. Everyone's pointing out some stuff like this. So it's quite strange indeed how the ugly button doesn't seem to work as often on male characters as it does for female characters. And that's a really good point here by Hypnotic. And he pulled up this picture of Calcastus and his real-life actor. This is the guy who plays him in, in the game. He's using motion caps, all that stuff. He looks pretty spot on, doesn't he? He looks like him. They look the same, which is what it's supposed to do. When they do this, you're supposed to look like the real person. But when it comes to the female characters, and we've seen this a bunch of times, this is what you get. You get this, and then you get this. Look at this. Oh, it's not going to, I didn't do this right, but you can see it right here. Look at the difference in this and what you saw with Cal Kestis. They can't do that with the woman, too. They totally change her up. This is the actress that that face is supposed to be modeled after. Beautiful woman. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Ugh. She looks like an alien now. And they gave her the Bruce Wayne chin. Tell me something's not going on there. It's like, well, we have this face. Now let's try to make her look like Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> they want to blur the lines between women and men. But they don't do it with men. Just with women. Just with women. Yeah, here's, a good, here's a good example of that. Look at that. Now why can't you do that with this character? It's only with the women. This is... Oh, these are Japanese, Japanese versions. Okay, so I'm guessing this is from Endymion. So I'm guessing these are on the left, Japanese. Yeah, that's Jill Valentine from the remake. So these are Japanese studios doing the same thing. And then I guess on the right are the actresses they're modeled after. And they look pretty close. They're... they're Pretty good representations on what they look like. And then you get the Western version. Which way, Western man? Yeah, here's another one. Look at that. And I'll say, well, they look the same. What's the excuse we always hear? We got better graphics, so the faces are going to look more realistic. Are they? Because the one on the left looks only vaguely similar to the one on the right. So... I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, everyone is uh, making fun. Here's Grums getting in on the fun, uh, saying that they instead used this face model. <laughs> I love this. I think it's hilarious. Look at this, man. What is going on today? Why can't they do it like they do with the dudes? Because that's pretty undeniable, got to say. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you still subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.